So, happy spring to all of you. The day I'm filming this video, it is the first day of spring, and I think that is super exciting, and leads me into the video I'm gonna be filming for you guys today. So today for you all, I'm gonna be filming a makeup tutorial and a hair tutorial, and I am sporting both of those looks right now. I love kind of changing up my makeup in spring. I like to keep things looking really fresh and natural and just carefree in the spring. I like to do very minimal makeup and just kind of highlight my features. So I just kept the makeup very light. It's very simple. I think it's really pretty and perfect for the spring and summertime. And then for my hair, and yes, number one, I did get it cut, so that's why it looks a little different probably, but I am going to be filming a hair tutorial on this kind of just loose, carefree, textured, PC hairstyle, because I'm noticing this is going to be a huge trend for this coming spring. So many people are wearing their hair just kind of in this loose, tousled manner with kind of just a texture to it, and I took a lot of inspiration from Julianne Ha, because, or Ha, who, how, however you say her last name, I think it's Julianne Ha, but... I might be butchering that. She always just kind of has that perfect, really loose, not quite curled, just PC, beachy texture. I think this hairstyle could work great on long or short hair. I just think it's fun and easy and carefree for the spring and summertime. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this makeup tutorial and this hair tutorial, then you can go ahead and stay tuned. So as always, I'm gonna be starting with my freshly cleansed, toned, and moisturized face. My L'Oreal BB Cream, which you guys know I love, I use it in every single tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and dot this onto my skin and then blend it out with my fingers. And you guys know the spiel, I just love this BB Cream and I think it's the best thing in the world. With my new favorite concealer in the whole entire universe, this Chanel Concealer, I'm going to put this under my eyes and then I'm going to blend it out with my ring finger and this concealer is amazing. It stays put, it doesn't crease and it gives amazing coverage, it has the coolest texture and I just absolutely love it. So I'm not going to be using eyeshadow, I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base in Nude and put this on my lids and up to my brow bone just to even out my lids and get out any redness or discoloration I might be having. Now it's time to go through the drill of filling in the eyebrows, so taking my Lorac Creamy Brow Pencil in Auburn, I'm going to go ahead and brush through my eyebrows then lightly fill them in just to define them a little bit more. Steal a smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in Damsel, which is a nice deep brown color. I'm going to tight line my eyes with this. And this is the main focal point of this look, just tight lining your eyes. And I really like tight lining my upper waterline because it gives nice definition and kind of makes your eyelashes look a little darker and just really makes your eyes stand out a lot more. From my Naked Basics palette, I'm going to take the color Venus and apply this as my inner corner highlight. And this is the best inner corner highlight I've ever used. It makes my eyes pop so much and really just adds a nice, awake look to your eyes. Then with my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara, I'm going to apply one coat of this to my upper lashes to finish off the eyes. natural effortless eyes. I think this look is perfect for the springtime and I just love it. So then taking my NYX Cream Blush Rouge in Natural, I'm going to pop this onto my cheeks and I really like this because since it is a cream it gives a nice dewy finish which I think is perfect for the springtime. And with my Urban Decay D Slick Powder I'm going to go ahead and set my T-zone to prevent any oils from popping up during the day. With my L'Oreal Blushing Sequins Lipstick, which is a nice neon pink color, I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto my lips. And this has a balm consistency, so I really like it. And then taking my Maybelline Neon Lipstick in the color Vivid Rose, I'm going to go ahead and pop this onto the center of my lips and then just blend it out with my fingers just to give my lips an even more bright pop. So here is my finished springtime makeup look. start out with just my natural texture, then going in with my flat iron, which is my Turbo Tools flat iron. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did when I curled my hair with a flat iron. I'm just gonna go ahead and take random sections of hair and wrap them around the iron, pulling away from my face. And as you can see, I'm kind of dropping out the bottom, and that just gives a really cool texture to your hair. It doesn't quite make it curly, but it doesn't quite make it straight. It just gives it a fun, tousled, PC texture. So I'm gonna do that on both sides and to the back of my hair, going away from my face, leaving out the ends, just kind of giving it that fun, PC texture. Using my Bumble and Bumble sea salt spray, which I think is perfect for this video and this type of hair, I'm going to go ahead and just spray this through my hair to give it kind of more of a PC beachy texture and then I'm just going to rough up my hair and piece it out and this really helps just accentuate that fun texture. Then taking this flower headband, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my hair and I think this really adds to the look and just makes it more fun and springy. Now I'm just going to go ahead and touch up any pieces that I want to touch up and then this is the finished hair look. I think it's great for the springtime, it's effortless, natural, and I just think it's really cute and super fun. Okay guys, so as you can see, I like to keep things basic and simple for the spring. I really like to let my skin kind of show off and breathe because it's been so masked by makeup all winter that I really just like to let it be natural and just really fresh looking. And I really like this hairstyle. I think it's cute, tousled, easy, and I think you're going to see a lot of people wearing it this spring. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave any requests you guys have down in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys!